beautiful Fenway Park in Boston, Massachusetts. The show has an AL East matchup. It's the Tampa Bay Rays squaring off against their hated rivals, the Boston Red Sox. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. Well, Singy, when you consider the top hitters' ballparks in the sport, this has got to be one of them. I'll say this. Pitchers have to stay with their game. They can't look over their shoulder and think, I have to be fine and perfect on every pitch. Continue to pitch to your strengths, and you'll come out of here with a good outing. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So, almost ready to get underway, getting the nod in this one. Number 80, how about a scouting report on him? Well, he's been a very dependable starter for his club, and what stands out for me is that left-handed hitters have really struggled, batting below 200 against him, and it just tells me they have a hard time tracking the baseball. Maybe it's the release point, maybe it's the motion, but just some way, somehow, they've got to figure out a way to pick it up and try to have some success from the left side. Yeah, there's the strike. Swings and misses. Slider got him for strike three. And that's the first strikeout of his major league career. And it could be the first of many. If he meets the goals he set for himself and the expectations others have for him, he doesn't want to just win games. He wants to dominate at this level. Do you think young pitchers could sometimes get too caught up in trying to rack up K's early in their career? Boog, I think they can. It's kind of like a hitter that doesn't have power. The thrill is still hitting the ball over the fence. And so for a guy, even if he doesn't have power stuff or strikeout stuff, a strikeout is still something that makes him stick his chest out a little bit further. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, Boog, I'll tell you, when he goes to look at the video of that pitch, he's going to want to punch himself. That slider had hit me ridden all over it, and clearly he just got a little too excited and was out in front. Tell you what, when you get a pitch like that, you cannot miss it. Those have a chance to go a long way. Tosses across the first. Rays retired in order. Nothing doing for Tampa. Now the Red Sox will get their shot. No score. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back in Boston, and on the hill here today, Zach Littell. Well, he's been a real quality starter for his club. And coming into this one, what stands out for me is that right-handed hitters have really struggled, batting below 200 on the year. It seems that they have a hard time picking up his release point and tracking the ball into the zone. So we'll see how right-handers do against him in this one. So stepping in for Boston, Jaron Duran trying to pick up his first knock in the big leagues. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mat. Now this ball is well hit. This one's got a chance. On the warning track, and holds it in. As we check out the lineup for the Boston Red Sox. And Chris, this group has been struggling to put up runs lately. Well, they haven't been on base a ton, and even when they are, they haven't been hitting very well with runners on base. So they need a guy or two to really step up, have some quality at bats, hit according to the situation, and sort of break out of this. I think if they do, the rest of this lineup will follow. And now two and one. just missed well he's so great about hitting the ball the other way he gets those arms extended so right there just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage one out base is empty and he walked him take your base Got a great back and forth and that at bad. He had to play off some really close pitches and somehow Bergie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Now batting Tristan Casas. Two one. Pro save. That's a stolen base. Well, a nice lead and a nice steal there to get in the scoring position with the heart of the order at the plate. 
that might just lead them to pitching around these hitters a little more because of the open base, but it's early in this ballgame. Can't imagine it'll change the attack plan too much. Man at second. Ball. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Got him looking. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Most guys are very aggressive when they see the stakes out there on the base paths and can't understand why he wasn't ready to swing the bat. You've got to be ready to swing the bat in a situation like that with the go-ahead run in scoring position. Misses off the plate. Two and one. One strike. We're going to foul over the screen and back out of play. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. 2-2 two -two now. Ball. And another ball. Full count. Masataka Yoshida to bat next. That's ripped. Base hit. Here's the throw to the plate. And he's out. Cut down, and that ends the inning. Well, it's pretty difficult to throw a base runner out at the plate with two outs and a base hit to the outfield, but an excellent job of coming up with it, getting rid of it quickly, and throwing on the money. That is great technique from start to finish. Nice job to end the inning. here at Fenway all set for the start of the inning and here's the first baseman Jonathan Aranda next ah. offering in there for a strike and the count one and two the line of the pitch ah. swing and a miss for the strikeout Pulled the string of the changeup. Uh, I think he might have gotten away with one right there. That was a very hittable pitch right over the heart of the plate. And I know that batter is kicking himself right now. Would like to get that pitch again. Just pulled the string on it, and the deception gets him the K. This is Dylan Carlson. And a ground ball to first. Casas Out. steps on the bag. Two up, two down at the top of the second. The right fielder, number 15, Josh Lowe. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Josh Lowe. Two outs. And now the count, one and two after the swing one and the ball. miss. Yeah, I don't think anyone's got good numbers swinging at pitches in that location. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Rays go in order. One, two, three. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back inside Fenway Park. Here's the left fielder, Masataka Yoshida. Next pitch in for a strike, and the count's even at two. Looks like he's just sizing him up there. Really good pitch to hit, but he took it all the way. Sometimes guys just want to set their timing later on in the game. That may be a pitch that he turns on. Got him swinging, and there's one down. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically, he likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. Here's Trevor Story. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss, and it's a full count. Full count.
kicks and fires. And a swing and a miss. And there's two away. Here's the rookie third baseman. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Righty delivers. And another ball. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. That one misses. And the count is filled up. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. here in Boston out of the third inning and now it's Jose Siri and he deals swing and he breaks his back whips it to Casas just got him on that one got to feel pretty good for the pitcher absolutely sawed him off that explodes and then he makes an easy play on it pretty satisfying if you're out there on the ball And now the catcher for the Rays, Ben Wortvet. The pitch. That one laced to center and a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Ben Wortvet with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming. Dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. And yeah, the batter now, Taylor Walls. Ball to strike, the pitch. That's a ball. Just missed. Rortvet stands at first with one out. That no, one misses. Ball. Now three and one. And ball four to a board. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound. But, you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this. But he's going to have to buckle down right here. So the Rays batting order turns over. Christopher Morrell now at the plate. And a pitch. And another ball. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Two on, one out. Ground ball right side. Into the outfield. Base hit. Throw back in. Holds the runner at third. Base is now loaded. Only one away. Christopher Morrell with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. One down. Brandon Lau next to hit for the Rays. Next offering upstairs. Oh. 
And fouled off. This one is blasted. A no doubter. Grand slam. He powers that one out of here. His first homer of the year, and they lead it. It's 4 0. Boog, his plan was to hit the ball hard, and he was going to figure out the rest later. You can't argue with those results. Junior Caminero next to hit for the Rays. The wind of the pitch. And yeah, that's outside. And it's two and one. Well, at least he's got a clean slate after that grand slam. Nothing to think about on the bases. So he can really go after the hitter and just approach this like it's a clean inning. Get the outs that you need and get back into the dugout. On the ground to third. Zips it to first. Out. Play is made. Two out. Up next for Tampa Bay. The first baseman. Jonathan Aranda. Two outs, base is empty. Jonathan Aranda next to hit for the Rays. Four runs already in the frame. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Well, a uh, really inside. rough inning out there on the mound. And uh, this is one of those where you learn a lot about a guy's toughness and his ability to turn the page and keep pressing forward. In the air, left side. Yoshida hauls it in to end the inning. Big blast for the Rays. A grand slam. It's now a 4-0 ball game. And we're back here at Fenway Park as we go to the last of the third. Here's the speedy catcher, Connor Wong. Got him. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Oh, nice job right there. He struck him out twice. The pitch before looked like it was strike three. Doesn't get the call. The Bears down. Three. Throws another quality pitch for the strikeout. And Manuel Valdez up next for the Red Sox. Right through there for a strike. One down, base is empty. Goes down looking. Well, right now he's in cruise control, autopilot, just dominating these hitters. I mean, it doesn't look like it's a fun at bat. And all of a sudden, you become in awe of this guy on the mound. Somebody's got to break this thing up. That's five straight strikeouts. Got to put a ball in play. Now batting Jaron Duran. Well, Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper Ball. into this game. And that's off two, the inside two. edge. Two and two. Ball. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Picks up strikeout number seven. Down in order go the Red Sox. They're on the short end of a 4 nothing score. Back here at Fenway, John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Dylan Carlson. Here's a 1 1. And another ball. So, Boog, you went to college in this town. What was it like for you being a college student and having the opportunity to bounce over here to Fenway Park and see some games? Yeah, in fact, 1990, a couple of college classmates and I, we were in college. We bought standing room tickets, and then the next night got a chance to see the Red Sox clinch the East against the White Sox in that sliding catch in the corner by Tom Burdansky. 
The Red Sox would end up losing to the Oakland A's in the playoffs, but that's one of the things that I'll think about in terms of memories from going to college and going to Fenway. Dylan Carlson with his first major league hit, and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen, and when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. So, man aboard, Josh Lowe, next to hit for the Rays. And the right-hander deals towards first, and he picks it up in foul territory. Right-hander kicks deals. Look Get out! That hit him. And it hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. And now, Jose Siri. What about the fans at Fenway? Would they let you have it from time to time? They're definitely intelligent baseball fans, which is awesome. They're not waiting for something to happen. They can smell a big inning or anticipate a situation setting itself up. And a pitch. And oh, that one's a low. little bit low. Now Move two on. and two. Boston's bullpen with some activity. Number 63 up and loosening in the pen. Number 99, the hard-throwing right-hander up as well. Here's a 2-2. He goes down looking. Well, oh, just excellent location on that inside fastball. Really locked him up. And it's a hitter. It's not typically what you're looking for. You're trying to protect away and then in. So you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called a ball. But either way, that's a really nice pitch. And now the catcher comes up to him. Ben Workvet. Here comes a pitch. One thing I found that was very cool was making a great play to end the inning and running off the field and getting a standing ovation, even at times when you're not a player on their team. As long as you're not winning, they will celebrate and applaud a great play on the field. These fans here, they love and respect baseball. The pitch. Hit well, right field, way back, and gone. His first homer of the year, and they tack on to their lead. It's 7-0. Already playing with the lead, and now they're celebrating a home run. They're having a great time out there. No, Boo, clearly some frustration out there on the mound right now. I mean, that ball was so close to going foul. Would have been a long strike, but instead, batter gets rewarded. Did a nice job of getting to the pitch and hitting it hard enough to get over the fence. And now Alex Cora is out of the dugout, and he will make a move for the bullpen. Number 80 out of the game. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. New pitcher on now, number 63. He's been so good against lefties. Base is empty one away. Here's the shortstop at the play. Taylor Walls. Still only one out here in the inning. In the air, left field. Hauls it in, two away. Up next for Tampa Bay. To Back to the top of the lineup. Now it's the DH, Morrell. Christopher Morell. You talk about the power and the speed together. 
Oh, we knew he was going to be a stud just coming up, making his way through the minor leagues, and quickly at this level, an impact player. Whips it to Casas. Third out. But the biggest swing of the inning comes right here, a three-run homer. It's now 7-0. You're dialed into the show. Back here at Fenway Park, ready to go, bottom four. Now the number two hitter, Willier Abreu. Abreu. And oh, another yeah. ball. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some pitchers. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse. Go after. Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance, and brings it in at the wall. The back, the first baseman, Tristan. And next for the Red Sox, Tristan Casas. Fouls one off, two and two. The Red Sox with a lot of ground to make up. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. That one ripped right center field. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. The throw is wild and it gets away. Tristan Casas with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Here's Tyler O'Neill. And a good eye there. The pitch. That one fouled off two and two. Man at second. Got him swinging. The the left now the left fielder, Masataka Yoshida. Yoshida. And a 1-1. And there's a foul ball. Here's a 1-2. Now a screamer into the outfield. Siri makes the play. That is the inning. And the Red Sox leave one. Not going their way. It's 7 0. We go to the top of the fifth. Stepping in, Brandon Lau. Right handed reliever. And it's fouled away. Struck him out without a swing. Fastball at the letters froze him for strike three. The third baseman, number 13. Now up for Tampa Junior. Bay, Junior Caminero. Oh. Outside low, and a count two and one. Right through there for a strike. Two, two. Too low, and it's ball three. The wind and the pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. And the righty deals. And they'll do it again. 
One down, base is empty. And down on strikes he goes. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at-bat like that one. Jonathan Aranda next to hit for the Rays. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. Lined, and that's a base hit. Jonathan Aranda with his first major league hit, and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen, and when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Luke. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Dylan Carlson next to hit for the Rays. Check swing, went around. It's a ball and two strikes. Aranda, the runner at first with two gone. Pickoff throw. He's safe. That one way inside. Two two now. Fights it off, you'll see another. At the belt and fires. Out to short. Off balance throw in time. And that is the inning. One left for Tampa, but they're still in control. It's seven nothing. Back here in Boston. Here's Trevor Story now. Next offering is in for a strike. Bullpen movement for the Rays. Tyler Alexander getting loose out there. Love Lady also throwing. The pitch. Fights that one away. Still one and two. And here it comes. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Well, that's always the key to effective now, pitching is getting Good. ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Ball. That misses. Two balls, two, two ball. strikes. Two strike. Fly ball down the line. Carlson racing after it. That's Can't foul. get there. This one lands foul. Base is empty, one away. Last half of inning number five. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. The other way. He makes the grab. Two down. Now batting. Catcher. Connor. Two outs, base is empty. Connor Wong, the next to hit. Two down, nobody on. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Now this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. Swings and misses, struck him out. Nothing doing for Boston. They continue to trail seven nothing.
And welcome back to the ballpark. Top of the sixth the inning. And stepping in for the Rays, Josh Lowe. Lowe. And a pitch. Outside Next offering ball. is outside. Next no, one misses, and low. that's ball three. This one in the air right field. O'Neill makes a nice running catch. Lefties can definitely be a little pull happy up there, especially now, with pitches that they see pretty well. That was a good example. He hooked an outside pitch, hit that ball in the air to right, just not with much authority. Base is empty one away, and we're the top half of the sixth. Wouldn't Two, chase that time. Fastball for a strike. Riding to the plate. And another ball. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's two down. Two outs. Base is empty. Ben Wortvet next to hit for the Rays. Two outs. Line drive, base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. And his hot hitting continues. They kept him in the yard that time, but all he's doing now is passing the baton, and everything seems to get started around this guy. And the batter will be the shortstop, Taylor Walls. And a pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Rortvet off of first with two away. And now the count is even. Fly ball pretty well struck right field. O'Neill going back. Tattooed and gone. It just got out of here. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 9-0. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spit on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient, and it paid off. So the lineup flips over. Here's the Rays leadoff hitter, Christopher Morell. The pitch. 2-1. Plenty of offense in this one, Singy. I guess you'd say kind of what we expected, though. Well, this was a game, looking at the pitching matchup, where you expected offense to score and not as lopsided as this. Um, but, yeah, you definitely expected Here's to see high. some offense coming up. 2-2. And looking, that's a strikeout. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now 9-0. Back after this on the show. Back now at Fenway, bottom of the sixth Four inning, and right stepping in for Boston, in Manuel Valdez. Valdez. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy He's on the out. mound work to get you out. And he handles it himself now for the out. The center fielder, Jared Duran. Now here's the Red Sox leadoff hitter, Jaron Duran.
The Rays up big in this one here in the bottom of the sixth. Kicks and deals. That missed inside, and it's two and two. Bounce to the right. Lau sends it to first. Two up, two down. The batter, the designated hitter, Wilger. And next is the designated hitter, Wilger Abreu. In the air to left, down the line. Carlson in pursuit. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. New pitcher for the Red Sox, number 99. And with the big now deficit on the Red scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. Lau at the plate. Here's a 1-1. And another ball. The Red Sox with some bullpen action. Chris Martin, the veteran right-hander, appears to be loosening up. Pavetta warming up as well. Righty delivers. Swings through that one out in front that time. A foul ball, he stays alive. That Full misses. Count. Full count now. Way to lay off that fastball up right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not popping up pitches that are just a little too high. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very the gritty. Now the third baseman, Junior Caminero. No, and that's, that's off it. the inside edge. And it's two and one. Three. And a swing oh. and a miss. Now on at first, nobody out. Swings through it for the K. Ugly cut on the slider for strike three. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count up at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Left hand batter waits. Battling here as he fouls it away. And he deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Some high cheese for strike three. But that kind of velocity and elevated fastball, even if it's still in the strike zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of. Man at first. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Dylan Carlson kicks and fires. Ripped, but it curls foul. and he struck him out. That's out number three. The Rays strand just the one, but they still hold a 9-0 lead.
back in Boston. Now here is Tristan Casas. The pitch. Tired or not, yeah. he's relentless with the way he pitches. He might One be ball. exhausted he's out done. there, but his stuff is still nasty. Tampa Bay's bullpen with some action. Colin Poche, the lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Pepio getting loose as well. Hard hit to third. Whips it across, oh. and they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Seems like the hitters are struggling with their timing today. Kind of caught in between that sharp fastball and the nasty slider. I'd like to see him settle on a consistent pitch. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Tyler O'Neill. Ball to strike. Foul ball there. One down, base is empty. Swing, and this one's bounced to the ground. Tosses to first, and O'Neill is retired. Now batting, left fielder, Masataka Yoshida. Masataka Yoshida up next for the Red Sox. Two outs, base is empty. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. One, two, three, go the Red Sox. And they're down 9 nothing. We go to the eighth. Now up for Tampa Bay, Josh Lowe. Josh Lowe. That's down and in. That one misses, and now three and one. Fly ball down the line. This has got a chance. Is foul. That ball was hit pretty hard and sure had home run distance, but if you're the pitcher out there on the mound, you execute it. Just a That's long a strike. You go after him and finish him off. Outside, and that is ball four. And now the center fielder, Jose Siri. Runner at first with no outs here. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And another ball. This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You got to make sure that you field the ball cleanly and get one out first. It's going to be tough to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. And the right hander deals. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Here's a 1-1. One -one. Late with the swing there. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. That one misses. Two balls, two strikes. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Boog, if you can set up a good two-strike splitter with a fastball on the previous pitch, it's going to be so tough to recognize and adjust your swing to get a piece of it. Clearly had him reaching for it right there. And here it comes. Ball, and that's off out. the inside edge. And a count two and one. That one fouled off. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. One left for Tampa. But they're still in command. 9 nothing.
Back now, now new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Ryan Pepio. Compared to some days, this is a pretty low leverage appearance for him, so he should be fairly free and easy out there. Still have to keep yourself sharp and attack the strike zone. The 1-1. One -one. And that one missing low. You know, these Red Sox just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look now like they're seeing it very well as a group. Nick. So gone. Here's the third baseman. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had him eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much all game. Three. Way out front for strike two. One ball, two strikes. And that's a strikeout looking. Not sure about that call. Pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three. Didn't agree with the that's call at the plate right there. A book in a game like this, that's just too close to take. It's a blowout game. Guys have been out here for a while. Umpire's saying, hey, let's go. Cut it loose. Swing the bat. Two outs, base is empty. So stepping in for Boston, Connor Wong. Next pitch misses outside, and it's two and two. Two down, nobody on. Here, in the bottom half of the eighth inning. Still two and two after the foul ball. Two down, nobody on. And a swing and a miss. And it's a three up, three down inning. Red Sox go down one, two, three. Steep hill to climb. It's a nine nothing deficit. We go to the ninth, and now the DH, Christopher Morell. Christopher Morell. But you want. That's inside. Next offering is in for a strike. Hold down. Payoff pitch stays alive. Three balls, two strikes to count. Well struck right field. And an automatic double as it hops the fence. That was loud contact and a no doubt double off the bat. I didn't know it was going to land in the bullpen though. And He's really improving his accuracy out there. It's almost like he tried to do it. So a man aboard, Brandon Lau, next to hit for the Rays. Man at second. On the ground, right side. Whips it to Casas. Lau out on the play. Junior Caminero will hit next. You have to find a way to score the runner from third, especially with less than two outs. Wait for the pitch you want and hit it as hard as you can. Out to short. Story. Slings it across. There for the out. Runner scores from third. And now, Jonathan Aranda. Oh, 
And look oh, out as that one got ran in and got him. Well, anytime one of your hitters gets drilled, it catches everyone's attention oh, in the dugout. And you know what? It kind of gets you fired up. Dylan. Runner at first with two away. Dylan Carlson next to hit for the Rays. And a pop off right side foul territory. Makes the grab and that'll end the inning. So one run on one hit no errors and a runner left and 9 1 2 scheduled to lead off the bottom of the ninth raise 10 and the Red Sox nothing. Back here at Fenway now it's the second baseman and Manuel Valdez the second baseman and Manuel Valdez. The wind of the pitch. Bounce to the right side, foul. and that's just foul. Ball. And the one two misses to even the count. Ah. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And they get the leadoff man in the ninth. Here's the center, center fielder, field. Jaron Duran. Base is empty one away. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. Next offering is in for a strike. Gets a piece and stays alive. Got him looking for the strikeout. Now only one out remaining. No, just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. So they're down to their final out. Next to hit, will your Abreu. Next pitch is downstairs. Sends it to center, and that's going to do it. And he'll make the catch. Ball game. And the Rays take this one in a blowout. Littell with his first major league win. Yeah, nicely done. I'm sure he'll feel very good about that and get the ball for his trophy case, as he should. A start he won't ever forget. Ten zip your final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.